What's good, YouTube? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at one of my favorite defenses in Madden this year. Really, it's been one of my favorite ways to play defense all year. This is a really aggressive pressure concept that we're gonna be teaching you. It's kind of very similar to the mid blitz out of the 245 uh, double A gap, but it's actually, in my opinion, in, the, in a lot of ways, I actually think it's a better defense because of the alignment because of what it can do against the run and because of the consistency of the pressure i think you're going to find that the pressure is a little bit glitchier uh from this formation now if you're new to the channel i want to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button it's completely free to subscribe uh to our youtube channel i also wanted to let you know that if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook you can get access to all of my madden 22 offensive and defensive guides by joining my patreon membership i'm gonna put a link in the description below if you want to sign up for that it's only ten dollars a month to be able to sign up for the patreon membership and so uh, again i would just encourage you if you're looking to get better we've got over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks in addition to that we also update it every single week uh, with new material that can help you become a better player by becoming a member you get access to all of that content so again there's a link in the description if you want to check that out um, but today I wanted to go over a really, really good blitz. And this is something I've been running. Um, I've been running this in one way or another for the majority of the season. And that is the uh, cover one linebacker blitz. Now we're going to show you today a way that you can run this defense where it's very similar to mid blitz. But what's really good about this is you get a cover one robber style alignment that really does match very well with the cover three. Um, so you can run a man or a zone version of this defense. And what I would recommend is if you just go to your auto alignment and set it to man align, and then that's going to help a little bit just with the alignment of the defense. So we're going to come out and cover one linebacker blitz. And the blitz is basically set up. Literally all you have to do for the five-man blitz is just stand right here. Now, if you want to press, you certainly can. Um, but you'll see that if you send this five-man, it's going to come in every single time. As you see, we're getting defensive tackle a gap pressure through the right side and we're getting edge pressure and this is one of the main reasons why this defense is so good you're just going to stand kind of right in here and you see how consistency um or how consistent we're going to get either b gap or a gap pressure um through this you know through that through that gap and this is again one of my favorite uh blitzes because there's literally no setup you just stand right here literally just stand right here and boom it's coming in Okay, so in that regard, like I said, it's a real easy pressure. Now, you might be thinking, well, you know, that's great, but what happens if the running back blocks? Well, if the running back blocks, you can kind of just simply contain rush. And what you'll typically see is if you contain rush, um, the running back can sometimes pick up that linebacker through the gap right there. Um, but if you want to be a little bit more consistent from a running back perspective, if you stand right here, uh, typically, this is very helpful with a blocked running back. Sometimes you'll still get the pressure in. But as you can see, by and large, if they block a running back, it's going to be picked up. And then if they block a tight end, I'll show you that real quick. You'll see. Now, if they block a tight end, a lot of times it gets picked up as well. The one thing that's really nice about this formation, though, is it does shed fairly well. So a lot of times you'll get instant sheds. But what I want to show you in this video is a way that you can kind of guarantee that you're going to get pressure with two simple adjustments. We're going to crash our line out and we're going to blitz our linebackers. Now, this is going to mean that there's nobody in coverage on the running back. So you need to kind of stand right here and the snap of the ball, you're going to kind of come down and then you're going to go guard the running back basically. Um, so what you'll see is if that's the case, you should be getting a gap and edge pressure super fast right through the quarterback. And what I like about this defense is the pressure is really good but it's also really glitchy and it comes oftentimes through the a gap as you see there i get another dt nano and this is what makes this so good now you might be saying well what, what about when they block running back or what about when they block tight end this blitz is actually fairly decent um even when they block a running back or a tight end just like the mid blitz is so you're gonna stand right here if you see them block a tight end you got to come down a little bit more um and there is a little bit of a bad animation but what we're trying to basically get is the center on the right or the center to engage uh, with us. So again, you want to make sure you have to crash your line up and then you want to kind of be like right in here. You don't want to be 
right here this is too easy for it to pick up you want to be kind of over in here which is even better for your coverage um and what you'll see is if i can get this right the center will kind of follow me and you see there i can get the a gap pressure so i'll show you what this looks like in instant replay again we're only sending five or uh i'm sorry we're only sending um i think we're sending six um, and they're gonna block six and we're still gonna get somebody free. So if you see my user, see, watch my user, I'm holding left trigger and I'm coming down. Now, you, where are you throwing the ball? You're not throwing the ball to any of these receivers. And as you can see, um, we're able to really get the pressure in at the quarterback. So very simple blitz. Now, you might be saying, well, okay, sometimes with those blitzes like that, oftentimes when I block my running back, it can be helpful. If they block the running back, that's kind of what you want them to do. And what you'll see is you wanna make sure you pass them in just in case they'll play action. But if they block their running back, you should get DT Nano right through the A gap. Again, the beauty of this blitz is not just in the fact that you're getting pressure, but in the fact that you're getting pressure right through the middle of the defense. I think that's a really underrated um, piece of this. So again, I'm going to block my running back. You're holding left trigger. You're just going to come out. And as you can see here, we're getting those loops. That time it actually picked it up decently. Um, but for the most part, if the running back blocks, what you want to do um, is you want to go guard the tight end or like go guard the the slot, for example. So let's say the running back blocks, you're just going to come down and go around and oftentimes he'll come right through the A gap. So real simple. Again, make sure you're holding that left trigger. If you hold that left trigger, it makes this much, much more effective. And so what you're going to kind of force them to have to do is they're going to have to max protect. Now, the max protect does not always work. I want to be really clear. It does not always pick this up. So when they block seven um, and you send six, oftentimes this can still come in. I'll show you a surefire way to get pressure um, against max protect in just a second. But again, you're standing here, kind of same thing. Just pull that center out. You see how that running back now has to step up and block? A linebacker coming right through the gap and, and to me that can be very difficult now another thing you can do for escape artists um, and for mobile quarterbacks is you can contain and what you'll see is when you do the contain rush it does help a little bit you see right there again this is still really good pressure only sending six now if let's say that we want to ramp it up and we really really want to send some pressure what we want to do is we want to blitz that nickel corner and then we want to make sure that we man that guy up that's normally guarding the tight end on the you know that player so you see this is kind of uh what the defense looks like as you can see we're still in the same exact spot but what you should see is now we're going to be in a position where we're really overloading that side and a lot of times you're going to get somebody slipping right through at the quarterback even though they're blocking seven um so again it's real real simple just simply uh press coverage blitz your linebackers and then from there if you want to really ramp them up you can blitz that nickel corner off the edge i would go ahead and not contain um you don't even necessarily need to crash your line in a certain way because it'll kind of auto correct but you'll see right here again that looper comes around really fast and i mean they just get in at the quarterback and that's what's so good about this defense so again it starts out really simple the real simple version is this right here and just simply containing and what you should see here is you're going to get b gap um or gap pressure really good now that gap pressure is gonna again and 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 i would be really i want to be really clear i would really advise that you don't um send the six man if you don't have to just send this it looks exactly the same and that's what's really i think beneficial uh about the nickel triple now the other thing that you can do is you could go to this cover three now if you take a look at the play art it is a little glitched here but you see that this play art's actually not terrible um you know we can go ahead and if we blitz the linebackers you're gonna see here that's the same look that we had with the cover one linebacker blitz with the shaded up okay what we want to do is we want to take that safety um on the right and we want to put him in a third so it looks like this and then your primary responsibility is the flat which is the running back perfect for us and now you see here that it's the same basic defense and you see we're getting gap double a gap pressure and that's what i mean this is a fun defense to run now what i want to really caution you with though is let's say that you audible to tampa 2 you're going to notice that the entire defense shifts and that's one thing you want to pay attention to um, if you audible to, um, you know, in those situations, now you're in a position where you can't, you're not really in a great spot, which is why cover three and cover one are much better to do this from. Now, let's say you want to go max coverage. 
this is one of the best max coverage defenses in the game. So uh, what we can easily do on that side, uh, on that bunch side, is we can play, again, a lot of different coverages, however we want to play it. One of the things that I personally like to do is take this middle linebacker, drop him into a middle third, and then I'm going to simply take this corner and drop him into a flat and I could double Mabel over there and then really really important you can go ahead and take the defensive tackle that is on the right side of the screen and you can bluff blitz him he is a really really good zone so you'll see here he's in a three rack this three man rush is really really good um because you have these two sharp blitzing angles if you want to contain the out of this you certainly can um but now basically all you have to guard is a deep crosser um, the bunch side is going to be taken care of. You primarily need to be there for the verticals concept. So, you know, or, you know, I mean, if they run, you know, flood or whatever, you've got this nice purple that'll get out on the running back. And then you're going to kind of lurk back in here and you see how good the sheds are from this formation. So the other thing is you could do this out of cover one. And this is one of my favorite defenses in the game. I've been talking about this for years, um, but it's real simple. We're just going to put both linebackers in curl flats. So you see that right there. And then we're going to blitz our user. And what I like to do out of this, you can send two, but I think the send three is just as good. So we're just gonna bluff blitz that nose to, or that DT on the right side of the screen. And we're literally just gonna run it like this. This right here is insanely good. You got great flow coverage, just like you have out of double A gap. And you see man coverage this year can be really effective. Again, got, got a nice user catch over the top, but when you mix all this in, it looks exactly the same. That's the beauty of it. It doesn't change. And again, you can be over here. Now you're showing the same pre-snap look. They send everybody out on a route. You go to the running back and you're gonna see here, you're getting super fast A-gap pressure. So that's the beauty of the defense and how it works. If you wanna learn more about this defense, I have a ton of setups and write-ups in our Patreon. The cool part about the membership is that it doesn't just get you access to this, but it gets you access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. And in addition to that, all of our updates that we release every single week. So if you want to sign up for that, I think this is one of the better blitzing defenses in the game. It's very simple to run and you can really easily adjust it. The other thing real quick that I didn't hit on um, is that you can actually create um, some really interesting coverages. So let's say, for example, you want to stay in this cover one linebacker blitz, which I wouldn't blame you for wanting to do that. What you can do is you can go ahead and create a cover three out of this. So you see, here's a cover three concept, um, you know, now, and, and, and what you can do with the safety on the right side is you could put him into a deep half and you see that you now basically have, you know, a really decent coverage. And then underneath, you can have your little underneath zones and only rush two now. Now you're only rushing two. You've got flat coverage on both sides. You've got great pressure, um, and you've got that slot cornerback manned up. So you see, you can really kind of fall out of this, and it creates some really glitchy pressure looks. So the nickel triple is really fun. I think that a lot of people have been sleeping on this defense all year. It's been one of the big time defenses in my Patreon membership. So if you want to check it out, again, there's a link in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.